You guys, I have had the worst few days ever. Like, I thought I was gonna lose my baby. I thought, like, I, I have been so sad and depressed and just so much. I've had all this anxiety. And like, like, let me just explain what is going on in my life right now. I have some explaining to do. So I haven't, I know I haven't been very active. I haven't been posting videos and this year's Christmas special just did not happen. I bought a pinata and I bought all the doggies costumes. I had this thing, this Christmas special planned and it didn't happen. So I posted on my social media sites why. So those of you who follow me on my social media sites are kind of up to date with this kind of and for anyone that doesn't know what's going on in my life um, the kitties are not doing so well, unfortunately. I have six cats right now. I know you guys only know about five of them, but I have six now. I There's this new rescue kitty that I have, and yeah, uh, there's, there's six of them. And out of these six, this many are sick. And it, it, it was so bad like I thought at some point that I was going to lose them so just my 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 life these past few days have been no sleep constant anxiety and just me worried about them and like I, I am their nurse right now I am constantly treating them medicating them getting them making sure they are getting better and th that is just so extremely time consuming it, it takes up all my day time and my night time I am so incredibly sleep deprived and the crazy part is I'm not even sleepy I, I don't know how my body is doing this I like <laughs> so yeah uh, Sirius got sick first and he just like well, like it looked like just like it was a cold but apparently like just things can get complicated with colds and like just developed into like secondary infections and then like 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 they have this triple virus and then things got complicated and they have like these respiratory infections and just like of their fighting infection and a virus right now like they are their little bodies are just like so tired and it absolutely breaks my heart like they're all in treatment they've all been to the vets they are all actually serious finished his treatment like he is all better now of course it can come back and it can come back stronger but as of right now serious is what you would call out of the woods their treatment includes antibiotics so I remember on Christmas Eve I took all of them to the vets to you know yeah and everything seemed fine and then I got home and a few hours went by and then like like I did water changes like I just went on about my life and like at night I noticed Leia just like had not moved at all since I brought her home and like I thought that was so weird but I'm like you know what she's just she's sleeping it's cool don't worry the hours went by let me just tell you guys my vet is not available 24 hours a day his clinic closes like after 9 p.m. so at this time of the night um, he was no longer reachable and the clinic was closed so I'm here like seeing Leia is not doing well so I'm just like what is going on and then the night proceeded and like this was Christmas Eve so it's supposed to be a happy celebration so yeah the hours went by and like I, I like I saw her getting worse and worse and I like, like was so sad 
and afraid and I like I I'm not gonna lie I cried and I like there is this one point at around 4 a.m. when I was really tired I wanted to go to sleep but I was afraid to fall asleep because I was afraid of waking up to her dead like that's how incredibly bad she was and it wasn't me exaggerating I've seen death I've seen animals die I know what it looks like doing what I do this is something I see unfortunately so I know what it looks like and she was going through it and there was absolutely nothing I could do it was Christmas Eve everything was closed at this one point like I straight up told her like hey you cannot give up okay you are a fighter like don't you remember how I found you don't you remember what you have overcome already and uh, like like I told her like you're not even a year old yet we haven't even like thrown you your big one year party and like like I told her like you you are named after a warrior princess you you are princess Leia you need to fight this you need to like like this is like the dark side and you you need to fight and win and we're not done okay we have so many things left to do and you're I, I don't give you permission to leave like you stay here with me and yeah like at this point like I was just like so afraid of losing her and yeah I was actually afraid of falling asleep because I didn't want her to pass by herself like if she was going to pass I think she deserves someone to be there with her and at the same time I was terrified to see her go like it's not I'm not I'm not that strong so at some point after that I told myself like you know you are a big believer of the universe like okay like I told myself like you need to be reasonable at some point I just thought to myself like you know what whatever has to happen will happen if it's her time then it's her time and if it's not her time then it won't be her time so long story short, she made it through the night. She was very weak. She she was in bad condition, but I I was able to get her to the vet the next morning. She was so bad. She was really bad. And my vet was like like you know, she looks bad. But we are gonna try and save her. So he used some really heavy duty stuff with her three times and she's still here she has been actually responding really well to her treatment after that like like she went like downhill but now she is kind of back up here but you guys like that was my worst christmas ever i would show you guys pictures and footage of that but i honestly did not want to remember that like i no no so yeah that's my life right now that's why i haven't been uploading that's why I haven't been able to live stream. Um, this happened and I haven't been able to talk about it or thank you guys and there's the giveaway because of this and I haven't been able to do it. So this just like is taking up all my time and I'm sorry you guys but they are a priority. I guess that's all I have to say about this. So after I finish this video, I'm going to record another video um, kind of explaining like the treatment, what I'm doing to treat them and just like the whole procedure and everything. Um, so yeah, check that out right after watching this. I will be uploading both of these back to back. So they should be up together unless you're really early thank you guys so much for watching and i want to thank all of you who wish them well and just like have been praying for them and sending them positive vibes through instagram 
and Facebook. I just want to thank all of you who have been wishing them well. It could have absolutely nothing to do with their recovery, but then it could have something to do with their recovery. So thank you, all of you, and I love you guys. And yeah, I will talk to you guys in my next video. And yeah, I don't know. Bye. About 10 milliliters at a time. Put it in in the little holding cup. That's pretty much all I do to prepare that. Really, really bad we had to actually take the mask and hold it to them like making sure they are breathing everything mm -hmm.